Okay, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use this Realtek R820T software defined radio, also called SDR USB dongle to receive air traffic control communications. So the first thing to do is find out what frequency your local ATC transmits on. In this case, I've got a website here called Heathrow Airport Radio Frequency List. So look this up on Google. I'm not going to include the, the link to this website um, because they are these are very easily available. So each um, airport has got the various types of transmission on their respective frequencies. Um, but if you haven't got one of these, then use a scanner to scan the frequencies between uh, this sort of frequency range or uh, look up what frequency ATC communications normally take place on and perform a scan on that. So in this case, what I'm going to do is, oh yes, yeah, so the antenna that you want to use for receiving ATS transmissions is your standard um, TV antenna. I'm not sure whether these are UHF or VHF. I think they are UHF antennas mounted on the roof. So as you can see, that's just a standard IEC mail plug that I'm going to convert to MCX mail so that I can use it with this dongle. Now in my other videos, I've demonstrated how to use this to receive ADSB aircraft transponder transmissions and how to receive FM radios and DAB digital audio uh, radio. Um, so let's go ahead and try to receive some ATC transmission. So of course install the Zadig driver as always and then get this software which I'll link to in the description below. It's called SDR Sharp. That's how it's spelled or you can go to www.sdrsharp.com just do that and get the latest version. So once it's set up, assuming the drivers and all that are set up properly, just run it. <coughs> now this screen is going to be, it's going to look confusing to, to those of you who aren't familiar with uh, amateur radio and radio stuff. So it did confuse me as well, but let's uh, have a go at it. All right, I'm just going to adjust the brightness of this camera. Ah, there we go. Now that we can see everything. Right, so to receive ATS transmission audio, we need to set the radio modulation type to AM because that's what it uses. Set that to uh, Blackman Harry's um, either 4 or 7. They both seem to work. Just take note of these values. I just copied this off. Uh, some other website. I, I don't know why they use these values because I'm still learning, but I know they work. And then what you want to do is you want to enter a frequency of. So I've saved a few here. I think that one, the best ATS so far, that one gives me the best result. 132.5921. Now, once again, I, I live within walking distance of Heathrow, so this applies only to uh, this part of the world. But if I double click on that and click start. There we go. You can hear tower to aircraft. There you go. So that's one form of. That's one. So that's one of the ground to aircraft channel. Okay, so what what do you want to do is just collapse all this, but you want to go to this digital noise redu reduction and set this to I don't know, just set it to minus ninety decibel. And this seems to work best for me because if you turn this off, it will pick up a lot of noise. Which I'll demonstrate now. Oh wow, it doesn't seem to do that. Um, it 
Okay, sorry. Forget that. This is just a post reception software noise filter. What you want to do is enable that squelch option, and that kind of filters out the background static noise. That's this bit here. So you can see if I turn this off, you will pick up all the static noise, which is not what you want. Yeah. Yep, so turn that on. Right, and I've got, I've also managed to tune into other ATC frequencies like this one. Okay, for some reason there's no transmission on that. There we go. Okay, this is one as well. Mm, maybe not. But yeah, I hope you get the idea. If you have any questions, leave a comment and hopefully we can try to learn together. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to answer most questions, but yeah, let's have a go. And if someone knows this stuff, please, please leave me a comment and explain some of this stuff to me to help me understand what I need to set up here to make this thing work a bit better. Alright, thanks for watching.